हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल केमिस्ट्री एस्पर इस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट प्रैक्टिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ टू क्लोरोब्यूटेन जनरली इन द महाराष्ट्र स्टेट बोर्ड दे विल आस्क यू द क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग आइदर द ऑप्टिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ प्लैक्टिक एसिड और आइदर द एक्टिविटी ऑफ योर टू क्लोरोब्यूटेन हियर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू अ वेरी सिंपल सिक्स इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट यू विल नो अबाउट द ऑप्टिकल एक्टिविटी ऑफ दिस टू क्लोरोब्यूटेन सो दिस इज अ वेरी सिंपल एंड वेरी यूजफुल वीडियो kindly watch till the end now let us start with this optical activity of two chlorobutane we know that the optical activity which is shown by your two chlorobutane is due to the rotation of plane polarized light when it pass through its solution so obviously the plane polarized light get rotated by passing through its solution one now that phenomena is actually known as an optical activity phenomena again you know that generally this optical activity phenomena is shown due to the presence of the chiral carbon atom now let us know first of all what do by chiral carbon atom so we know that the carbon atom which is attached to the four different atoms or the group of atom is actually known as an a chiral carbon atom or you can also call it as an asymmetric carbon atom i have represented the structure of the two chlorobutane here so by observing the structure of the two chlorobutane you will know that the central carbon atom act as an chiral carbon atom as it is attached to the four different atoms or the group of atom in the two chlorobutane so here one group is a methyl group next one is the hydrogen atom then the next one is your ethyl group and the last one is your chlorine all so, four atom or the group of atoms are different here hence your two chlorobutane is eligible for showing the optical activity now let us know about how many optical. isomers we obtain generally the optical isomers are shown by a and we have a formula to obtain the optical isomers that is a equals to 2 raised to n where a represents the number of optical isomer while n represents the number of chiral carbon atom we know that if i consider specifically for the two chlorobutane here this chiral carbon atom we have shown by this asterisk which represents actually the chiral carbon atom so there is only one chiral carbon atom here is it right so again we have this simple formula that is a equals to 2 raised to n therefore a equals to 2 raised to 1 as there is only one carbon atom hence n equals to 1 therefore 2 raised to 1 therefore a equals to 2 it means what generally your two chlorobutane shows the two different isomeric form or two different optical isomers now that isomers are actually represented by d2 chlorobutane and l2 chlorobutane which is also called as an enantiomeric form of your two chlorobutane so we obtain the two different isomers which are also called as an enantiomers generally enantiomers are the non superimposable mirror image of each other so enantiomers can also be called as a non superimposable mirror image now let us know about the enantiomeric form or the non superimposable mirror images of a two chlorobutane so here we know that generally enantiomers have the same physical and the chemical properties they both will shows the same physical and the chemical properties but they have the different optical rotation with the same magnitude but in the opposite direction it means what we know that optical activity phenomena related to the rotation of a plane polarized light when it pass through the solution so here that rotation of plane polarized light which is actually called as an optical rotation that optical rotation can be takes place within within a same bond angle okay what may be the value so both these isomers that is your d and l isomer will shows the same optical rotation with their specific bond angle okay but value is fixed but their rotation is in the opposite direction one will rotate the plane polarized light towards the right hand side while other will rotate the plane polarized light towards the left hand side so their optical rotation is different okay they are in the exactly opposite direction which is actually the optical activity phenomena that's it 
so here i have mentioned a simple what is actually the enantiomeric form or the non superimposable mirror image is it right now again remember this enantiomeric form or a non superimposable mirror image is actually represented on one dimensional board or on a plane of paper by using the two different formulas which is very important one so first by your fischer's projection formula which actually represents the two dimensional structure of this two chlorobutane so you know that what about the fischer's projection formula generally in the fischer's projection formula the molecule is represented by this vertical and the horizontal line and the intersection is actually the chiral carbon atom of that molecule so this is the simple two isomeric form that i have represented on the board so here there is a slight difference keep one thing in your mind this isomer is actually called as an a d isomer that is d2 chlorobutane and this isomer is actually called as an l2 chlorobutane as their optical rotation are in exactly opposite direction d actually represents the dextro form while the l represents the leo form we will know in detail regarding this one but let us discuss about the next representation of this two chlorobutane that is the wedge formula wedge formula actually the representation of a simple molecule in a on a plane of paper so this is the importance of this wedge formula so here i have represents this wedge formula for this two chlorobutane here you can observe that the d2 isomeric forms are differ from each other simply due to the optical rotations to differentiate these two isomeric form we know that we actually put a mirror in between these two isomers one as you know that when we stand in front of the mirror our left hand will be right hand in the mirror while our right hand will be the left hand in our mirror one so these are the two different isomeric forms of your two chlorobutane now we will know in detail regarding the d and the l isomer so before this i request you to take a screenshot of this one so now let us know regarding the d isomer or what is d2 chlorobutane isomer we know that this isomer which rotates the plane polarizer light in the clockwise okay in the clockwise that is towards your right hand side that isomer is actually known as an d isomer or dextro isomer generally this dextro isomer is represented by small d or plus sign in the optical activity now let us know about the next isomer that is nothing but the l isomer that is your l or minus 2 chlorobutane isomer so here remember this isomer which rotate a plane polarizer light in the anti clockwise direction that is towards your left hand side now that isomer is actually called as an l isomer or it is also known as an leo isomer it is represented by small l or by minus sign in the optical activity so these are the two enantiomeric form of your two chlorobutane that i have represented here by your fischer's projection formula and by the wedge formula now again let us know about the racemic mixture it is again important term generally this racemic mixture is represented by small d and small l or it is represented by plus or minus sign now what is racemic mixture remember the enantiomeric form that is your d form and the l form if they are present in the equimolar amount now that mixture is actually known as an a racemic mixture so here i have simply considered about the two chlorobutane hence i have mentioned here two chlorobutane that's it generally this racemic mixture of two chlorobutane is optically inactive as they are in the equal amount so let us know why this racemic mixture is optically inactive we know that this racemic mixture is optically inactive due to the external compensation now what about external compensation remember both your d and the l isomer will rotate the plane of plane polarizer light with the same magnitude but in the opposite direction so as a result as a result the optical rotation of that 
plain polarizer light will get cancel out and hence generally your racemic mixture is optically inactive so this is whole about the six different points that we have discusses in this optical activity of a 2 chlorobutane which is very important generally if you represented in such manner you will get 3 to 4 marks Take a screenshot thank you so much for watching this video see you in my next video